Everyone, welcome back to Apex Gun Parts. Today, we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of a Hungarian AK-63D parts kit. Alrighty, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of this Hungarian underfolding AK parts kit, the AK-63D. Now, quick disclaimer, we do have these parts kits at the time of this video, but if we have them in the future, there may be some slight variance to the contents of this parts kit, but this is just to give you a general idea of what you can expect inside a Hungarian model AK-63D. So let's dive right in. Now, the most identifiable part of the Hungarian AK-63D is going to be that underfolding buttstock. Now you can see this is a bent sheet metal buttstock. Now some of the Romanian guns and some of the other models will have a milled buttstock, but this underfolding buttstock is sheet metal. You can see the rivets on either side here. So that is the most identifiable feature. The other most identifiable feature on these Hungarian rifles is the wood color and cutout, I guess you could call it. So here you can see on this handguard set, there is no palm swell on the lower handguard. Lower and upper handguard are pretty thick. This is actually pretty dark for a 63D parts kit. The wood is usually pretty darn blonde, so pretty cool out of this one. But if you buy one of these parts kits at any time, uh, I'd expect the handguards and pistol grip to be more of a blonde color. You'll also notice that the gas tube is vented on the AK-63D. Now let's take a look at the pistol grip. The Hungarian pistol grips have a very unique profile. You can see that here. On some of the tanker models, the AMD 65, you'll notice that these pistol grips also are on the fore end to act as a foregrip for that 12 and a half inch barrel gun. However, on the AK-63D, which is what we're unboxing here, you're just gonna get that rear pistol grip with that unique design. Again, this one's a little bit dark. Generally expect more of a blonde color on the Hungarian rifles. We've got a pretty standard top cover here. It is a stamped top cover with ribbing on it. See these on a lot of AKM models. Pretty standard AKM bolt and carrier to identify it as Hungarian. Usually they put the serial numbers on this little left side ridge here. It's usually got a pretty long suffix of numbers with a single letter prefix. Also on these Hungarian guns on the front of the bolt carrier, you can see a two here, and you can usually see that on the bolt carrier as well. The zeros and twos and number twos are pretty often stamped all over Hungarian rifles, whether it's an AK or something else like an M44, things of that nature. Got a standard AKM recoil spring. Next, we've got our bag of underfolding mechanism parts. I'm not gonna unbox these for you, but um, yeah, it generally just has all of the underfolder springs and me latching mechanisms. Next, we got our fire control bag. We've got our fire control group, which is an original Hungarian set, and we've also got our trigger guard. This specific parts kit does have a disassembled magazine release latch, but some of them it may not have that. And we've got our pistol grip screw and small parts, all that good stuff. And for our last bag, we've got all our trunnions and blocks. Now, I will unbox this to show you some of the specific parts of this. Here we've got the rear sight block. You can see that the rear sight leaf is stripped, but they will be included if that is the case. We've got our front sight block here. Here is our Hungarian rear trunnion. This is for the underfolding mechanism. Now on the Hungarian AK-63Ds, we also do have this reinforcement plate, which is a specific AK-63D thing. So if you are getting this put together, this will be correct for this model. Hungarian slant muzzle brake. If you usually see a muzzle nut, that's usually an earlier gun. Slant brakes were a little bit later design. Got our safety selector and our upper hand guard spring. There's that rear sight we were talking about. Then we've got a Hungarian lower hand guard retaining plate. Now you'll notice there's two holes on this. That is a Hungarian thing. So if you see one for the cleaning rod, could be any other model, but the Hungarian ones always have these two holes. And then the sling loop is a little bit thinner than you might find on some other different variations. Then we've got our milled gas block. To my understanding, most 90% of the Hungarian rifles that are military issue will have milled gas blocks. Unlike some other later designs of different countries, they'll have cast gas blocks. doesn't really matter for the gas block but on the Hungarian rifle, you can see this one's nice and milled. And then the last thing, the identifiable part of the Hungarian rifle, we've got this front trend in here. Now on the left-hand side, you can see we've got a serial number. There is no factory logo on the Hungarian rifles. So you'll just see a letter prefix followed by a numerical suffix showing the serial number of this rifle. Now, if you wanna quickly identify whether a trunnion is Hungarian, you'll notice that there is a square front end here. Usually on AKM pattern front trunnions, they will cut these down at a 45 degree angle, but the Hungarian ones are kind of squared off on the front. So you can see here, there's this 45 degree ridge, and then there's this little nub that sticks out on most every other variant. They just cut that off. On the Hungarian rifles, they square it off. So just a quick little 
factoid for you if you're looking at a front train trying to figure out which one it is. Alrighty guys, that is a quick look at the Hungarian model AK-63D. Make sure you check back in with us often. We've got a whole load of parts and parts kits on our website, apexgunparts.com. Let us know down in the comments what you think of the AK-63D. Tried and true service rifle, great, awesome parts kit much more you can say about it. Make sure you check us in the next video and like and subscribe and do all that nonsense because is it really a YouTube video without it?